There. Now you're safe. I know I heard you say something. I just know it. Where are you? <laughs> Oh. Horton! Oh, sorry! Uh, I, I just, uh, there was this speck, and, uh, it called out for help, and I the was... The speck called out for help? Well, not the speck. I mean, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Is that what you thought I meant? No, the speck can't call out for help. Come on, get real. <laughs> no, there's a tiny person on that speck that needs my help. <laughs> Absurd. There aren't people that small. Well, maybe they aren't small. Maybe we're big. Horton. No, really, think about it. What if there was someone way out there looking down on our world right now? And to them, we're the speck. And then there's someone else to come along and say, oh, there can't be people that small. And the first guy would say, are you calling me a liar? And the second guy would say, if the shoe fits, wear it. And now the fists are flying and the first guy picks up a brick. And you might want to zip up the pouch for this next part. All right, fat boy, you want some of this? Mm -hmm. What? There is nothing on that speck. But I heard. Did you? Really? Oh, my. <laughs> then how come I don't hear anything? Well... If you can't see, hear, or feel something, it doesn't exist. And believing in tiny imaginary people is just not something we do. Or tolerate here in the jungle of Newell. Really? Because I bet if I really tried, I could find somebody who'd believe what I'm saying. You will do nothing of the sort. You will not breathe a word of this lie to anyone else, especially the children. I do not want you poisoning their minds with this nonsense. Our community has standards, Horton. If you want to remain a part of it, I recommend you follow them. Have a nice day. All right, then. I'll uh, take that under advisement. Certainly appreciate your input. <laughs> 